Is it go time? I don't know. We gonna find out. Heart rate's at 168. Val's at 129 over 85 with a 71. How you feeling? I'm alright. Hmm? I'm alright. She just got her meds hooked up. Well, Christian should be here in the morning. Or soon, you never know. This is the spot. It's like MTV Cribs. You got the the stroller. You got the uh, 1980s Philips TV. Which the remote is the thing right there. Oh, we got the remote. Don't hit the call button. Almost like a mall. Let's see. This is where I'm going to be sleeping tonight. It's a little bit of an upgrade. <laughs> yeah. We'll check back in later. Alright, next morning. We at December 7th, 621 in the morning. Still chugging along. Val's getting some sleep. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what half this stuff means. I think that's his heart rate. And they just gave her like four hours ago, five hours ago the other inducing pill, or the pill that helps push him out quicker because of how small Valerie is. He's uh, causing too much stress on her, so they want to go ahead and get him out a little quicker. Even though she is full term, she's three days away from being 40 weeks. So it's time. He's big. She's small. This is what we worked with last night. Mattress came off. I'll be honest. It was not comfortable. But hopefully we'll be home later on. Alright. We are now... Let's see. We're about 12 hours. We've been checked in. So, um, yesterday Val had what she suspected to be a water break. Um, so we came along with some other, you know, symptoms Valerie was having related to pregnancy. So we came here to the ER as directed. And uh, yeah, I guess we've just been checked in ever since. The nurses did some panels on her and checked her cervix a couple times and uh, deemed that it was best if we stay here and go ahead and just kind of help help little Christian out get out of there um, Valerie as you guys know is pretty small Christian's a bigger baby comes from <laughs> comes from my genes um, my last son Christian and Carter Carter was pretty big uh, 8 pounds 21 inches so uh, I'm just excited I'll tell you guys that uh, it's like a weird feeling you know it's you know you have one kid but I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's pretty cool though. I know the other day when we were packing up his bags and had the newborn clothes, looking at newborn clothes again after this long is something, I'll tell you. Because you get used to looking at your current son, his size. My son Carter, he's three. So it's kind of like, oh yeah, he's normal to be this height. But then you go look at the newborn outfits and they can fit you know the size of your forearm and it's 
I don't know. I'm excited. It's gonna happen today. Uh, I just left the room. I probably got a good four hours of sleep. I don't really know how much Val got. Uh, when I stepped out, it looked like she was trying to get us some sleep. But she's been having contractions. Um, yeah, I mean, it's going how it should. <laughs> uh, let's see, once she gets a little bit more, they're gonna start giving her Pitocin. Once they give her Pitocin, things will speed up pretty significantly because uh, this is her second time. But uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's get All right. 10 o'clock, December 7th. I hope today's still baby day, but uh, Val's been sleeping on and off. We're getting some pretty steady contractions over here. She's trying to put on her delivery baby face for pictures. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. <laughs> you excited? I'm excited to get an epidural. <laughs> Alright. It's 6 o'clock. And uh, they just upped her Pitocin. And she's getting some pretty serious contractions. They're about to give her the epidural. And it's going to be go time here pretty soon. So we're just kind of hanging out. Water just broke. It's go time. Yep, baby time. Yep, it's all. Oh, yeah, Eleven forty at night. Water just broke, and she's at seven centimeters. So it's gonna happen. It's gonna be a twelve eight baby. So we didn't win the bet after all. Huh? I did. Val did. Yeah, she said this baby's not coming out till twelve eight. Well. You were only saying that so you could get your nurse final in, but you still don't get to do that anyway. <laughs> What's his name? Christian. Christian, okay. Let's see. You did so good, Mama! Making him cry. See how he's coughing? Mm -hmm. That's what we want him to do, okay? Awesome. He's a chunk. Can I stay down here? Oh, yeah, he's, he's a big boy. Thank you. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Alrighty. It just happened, boys and girls, and everything else there is in this universe. My son, uh, Christian, has made his appearance this morning at 4.51 this morning. He's uh, eight pounds, 10 ounces, so he's a big old boy, you know. Nothing less, that's all we make, studs. Uh, he's 21 inches, and that's it. Mom's handling it like a champ, she did great. Um, she's just taking a nap right now while he is too. Got him nice and fed and he's asleep so luckily the hospital's pretty close to the house so I'm gonna rush home quickly shower change and uh, let the dogs out and do some other odd ends at the house real quick and then haul tail right back to the hospital and hang out with my boy we're excited we're gonna my other son uh, Carter is at my sister's house right now so thank you Michelle thank you very much because that would have been a uh, very big handful <laughs> trying to chase a three-year-old around while trying to have a baby so shout out to all the good siblings out there um, but other than that yeah we're excited we're gonna keep this vlog thing rolling we're just having fun with it man there's no intentions other than just trying to have good vibes and good memories to look back on one day with your family and that's what life's all about you learn at some point you know you get the opportunity with the money, you get the opportunity with all these different things and you realize what's important is your family and ensuring that they have the absolute best life possible and uh, best future. And that's all I care about is um, ensuring that my son and my wife and 
all my immediate family and friends that care about me, I care about them. Therefore, make sure everything's taken care of and just have a good time. That's what life's all about. So I look forward to uh, seeing the little man grow and it's gonna be a good time having good memories, put him on a dirt bike. But uh, uh, we'll see, we're gonna be fun. So I'll get back with you guys when I get back to the hospital. We'll check in with, with mama and baby and Carter. Maybe Carter makes an appearance, but if not, he'll, me he'll meet him tomorrow when we get discharged. Uh, they have to keep him for 24 hours just for safety precautions. That's all we got for now. I'll be back. Stay away go home. We're out of here. It's been fun. Peace. Stay go home now. Yes. We're out of here. Little man. Little man's finally going home. What is it? December 9th? I'm trying to figure out where the bus is going to be. 12.53, we out of here. That's a wrap. We on the way home now. All loaded up, got mom in the back with the baby. You ready to go home? I think that's where we're headed. <laughs> Man, they must have not gave mom enough drugs because she's still got an attitude. <laughs> I said that's where we're headed. <laughs> Alright, we're home. Home sweet home, finally. After, shit, how long has it been, Val? Since, how long is Wednesday? Like, I don't even know. Four days, something like that? Too long. Yeah, damn right. Let's see, am I gonna hit her father's truck? Let's see, nope. Let's see what we can get into. Let's see. Uh-oh, someone opened the front door. I heard the garage. I bet you her mom and dad are coming out. Her mom and dad just moved here from Texas. They're about to get an apartment down the road so they could be here close to the grandbabies. That was very nice of them. Little man's home. Let's go see the brother real quick. There's the brother. Hey, brother. Hello. You ready to see your little brother? Yeah. Make you secured. Little man. How you doing, little man? Hmm? You hungry? Yeah, we're gonna eat after this. Can I change the diaper? How you feeling, Mom? Obviously. Yeah, yeah. She ain't feeling too good. But, we're powering through it. Uh, we're doing all this, mostly. Like I said, I'm not trying to do this for any purpose other than just document it for fun to look back, because, I don't know, it's always cool to look back 10 years from now see where things all started i guess and uh looking at pictures i mean it's cool but being able to look at this and see what was going on in their heads and everything else uh -huh. it's awesome catching moments like this right here Mad little man. Little feet. Our Christmas came a little early, didn't it, Val? We got Christian May's appearance and our 48 hours home. Got the tummy time mat set up. We're probably going to use it here today. Just got back from his first checkup. How you doing, little man? <laughs> Just a lot of eating and sleeping. But now we're going to change that up a little bit and do some tummy time now. Now that we got the belly clip off from his umbilical cord. Mm. 
Yeah. Got mom over here getting the breast milk bottle ready. Let's see. How we feeling, mom? Successful. Successful. I like it. How you feeling though? I mean, the overall recovery, is it uh, tolerable? Is it, what, what advice do you wish you could have had for yourself or you want to give to someone else? Right now. <laughs> I don't know it, so. Yeah, it's been rough as you can tell. We are absolutely tired, but um, we're getting through it. Uh, Carter had a little bit of adjustment, I guess you could say. Um, it's more of just not knowing what's going on, but he's good with him. He likes it. The dogs love him. When the baby cries, the dogs will come over to him and watch him. Oh, here we go. Hey! The hands of a hero. Oh. Watch this magic happen. Watch this. Look at that. My mama's touch. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. It looks amazing. Alright, here it is. Our very first tummy time. The very first one. Let's try to get that on there. Damn, I'm not picking up. December 11th at 433. Here comes Grandma and Grandpa. And Carter. Careful. Come here, Carter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? You didn't see the way he turned around. What are you doing? Get up. Get up. Get up. It didn't fall off. He took the clip off. Oh. They didn't take the clip off. What are you doing? Because it was, they said it was still too moist. Is it? I got back to the store. Yes. It was too moist? Yes. What you thinking? He ain't crying. What do you think? No. Look at him. Look at your little brother. Look like at him. Huh? Come here. Are oh, you going to sit with mom? Look at baby brother. Good. Is that your bubba? That's your mm -hmm. bubba. Hey. <laughs> that was in mommy's tummy. Yeah. Man, he's just chilling. Do you see yourself? Hmm? You see yourself in the mirror? Hello. What are you looking at? He's starting to get some action. We're on mile three right now, I think. Carver's helping him out. Yep. Should he be having so his feet can get traction? I said, should his feet be out of this? Oh boy, he's getting mad. He's starting to get up. Get it. Woo. Get it. Come on, turn your head. Don't do it for him. Yeah, I'm going to suffocate. What are you doing over here? Hmm? You're good. Good job. Alrighty. This is it. I'm finishing up tummy time for the first time and uh, 
Getting ready to feed him. Oh yeah, he's hungry. Yeah, he's hungry. Fresh liquid gold. Gotta be careful what I say so I don't get age restricted. Now mom's gotta go take her one of her finals so she can finish out this nursing thing and go and be sugar mama for us. I'm just kidding. Alrighty. That's gonna be a wrap. After this, I'm gonna feed him. I'm gonna go up there and try to sneak away and do my, you know, my version of editing and, and then it'll be up. And then we'll get back to the dirt bike stuff hopefully next weekend. The arm obviously is still recovering. As you can see, uh, I'm not in my sling right now, but I am in it quite often. I just try to get out of it whenever I'm helping the baby and just around the house if I know I'm not doing anything. Um, as far as status, mobility is getting better. Pain level is obviously still there, but it's not, I wouldn't, I don't know if it's pain from the surgery or if it's just the muscles being used every day in uh, the therapy that I do and all the stretching and working out and all the stuff that's authorized. I don't do anything crazy. But uh, I'm hoping no more than five, six weeks more, but we're gonna do whatever it takes. I'm not gonna risk this and mess it up and have to do it again. Because whenever I come back, like I said, it's really go time this time. Uh, yeah. It's racing time. All right, finishing up. Finishing up the bottle here too. Don't got much left. I just figured a better way to finish it off than get to hear something from the one that made all this possible, I guess, and had to do it all. So kind of walk us through what led up to this. Uh, like how'd we, how'd we end up going to the hospital this on Wednesday? take my final early in the morning and my vision was blurry and I started to get a headache that wasn't like a headache but it felt weird so overall I just felt off and it never went away all day and I told you about it later that night and I looked up the symptoms for it or what it could mean and it said it could be preeclampsia which, whatever, but it's serious. You have to go get it checked out. So since we thought it could be that, that's what led us to the hospital. Turns out it wasn't that, but it still led to something that got us an inducement. And then we were there forever. Yeah, well, yeah. So how long did, like, would you say that you were actually in labor for? So if someone was to say, how long were you in labor with Christian for? Oh, like labor or pushing? I would say like actual labor. Because you know, everyone's always saying, mm. talking about how, oh, I was in I labor really for 30 anything. hours. Because it was all, it was reading my contractions, but I didn't feel anything. So, um, I guess technically that night that we went in, because they started giving me those pills to, uh, yeah, the Pitocin and, uh, no, that's different. It was yeah. a, pill that started with a Z. Uh, okay. It's different. Yeah. Then I started Pitocin later. Yep. Yeah, basically her body, they said uh, she had a little bit of high blood pressure. Sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. I'm trying to finish up this bottle. But um, basically they said it's gestational hypertension and it was directly related to, I guess her placenta being overworked. So he was just too big for her. And the way the doctor said it is that she was already 39 weeks and four days and we might as well go ahead and get him out. So here we are. And uh, yeah. I won the bet. I guess, yeah, Val did win the bet. So uh, like I was saying, I, I don't know if I've already said it in this video at some point. If so, you get it twice or I'll end up cutting it out. But uh, she was making a joke saying, we're not allowed to have the baby until the eighth because on the 8th, she had one of her big finals for school. And uh, the one I'm taking now. yeah, the one she's taking right now. 
But uh, I mean, she got her wish. He didn't come till the eighth, but it didn't work out the way she wanted to where it was after, or the baby came after. But it is what it is. Now we're just gonna hopefully finish this up and we're starting to kind of get a routine together where we can get him active during the day and so then he can give us some sleep at night because uh, I'm not gonna lie, it has been a little brutal because he's always hungry. But hey, it's all in the contract. It's what I signed up for, let's do it. Doesn't take a man to make a baby, it takes one to raise one. Ain't that right, buddy?